Welcome to part number 46 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to do some more events in the free roam. We're going to do URL stuff. So, as I mentioned before, we're going to trade in our 240SX for something new. And my chat is very divisive on what we're going to get next. It's basically a battle between the Ford Mustang GT and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. So here's the thing. I made a crappy-ass spin wheel right now to decide the winner. And the truth is, whoever wins is going to be used for now till the end of the game. Not every single race, but you know what I mean. Like, it'll be part of that shuffle. And then the loser will be bought with a trainer after the game is done to complete the incomplete events of Stage 5. So, here's my really, really, really crappy spin wheel. And let's find a winner. Alright, here we go. All right, it's the Evo. So, the Evo is the winner. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll buy a Mustang after the game is complete. Rigged. <laughs> so yeah, I just had to disable the spin wheel. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna have a field day with this thing. I already know what I wanna do to this fucking car. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. Say goodbye to stock, cause slamming and dressing is what it's all about. Make your ride distinct by throwing on body mods. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, let's get that. I want that one. Uh, I want that one. I want that one. Yeah, the Mickey Mouse ears, yep. Let's put some like Sonys on this thing. Let's put the four spokes. Yeah, <laughs> look at that thing. Oh my god. What are we doing to this fucking Lancer? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Okay, that's the wrong way. Now credit is built with winning. Hey, vinyl is second skin style for your paint. So layer it on. Okay, what what can we possibly do to this car? What the hell is this? Oh my god, that's so bad. Fuck it, let's go with that. This is the wet bar for your ride. Give it some distinction by coating it with some paint. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll... I don't know. Uh, yeah, pink. Yo, front your parts and name them with sponsors decals. Brambo, cause why not? It's pretty yellow. Yeah, that's hot. Okay, one more thing to do to this car. You know, the thing is, is that we have all this money in the game, so it doesn't even matter anymore. Hey, accessorize your ride with style and turn some heads when you race by upgrading your car's looks and audio right here. Okay, we'll go with that one. Uh, I guess we'll do green and we'll do blue. Coral, yeah, all right. All right, we don't have nitrous, so we can't do that yet. Okay, well. 
that's pretty much it for the racing of this car. Okay, so let me go ahead and get on my Pontiac GCO, and we'll do the we'll do some URL races in this segment. So away to the airport we go, and let's get some started. Oh, it's this course. Okay. Oh, a cutscene. Ooh. No hard feelings, right? Nikki's in our corner now. Caleb's telling everyone you'll never race again once he's in control. What? He's crazy. You better watch your back. I'll do what I can, but it's up to you now. What good are any of you? Not one of you could take that guy out? Not one? What do you think is going to happen if he keeps winning? You could say goodbye to all this. Your precious sponsors. All the C-notes falling into your hands. All of it! Fine, we'll take care of it. He ain't gonna walk away from it this time. You just make sure he goes down. Or ain't none of you gonna walk away from this. Wasn't there supposed to be a cutscene with her? in Like, before? Unless we skip that race or something. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's backwards this time. Oh, shit. Okay, so we can't take full advantage of riding the walls at the very end anymore. Holy crap! <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Like, everyone was just crashing on the front stretch. Okay, well, after that really, really, really shady start, now we're able to pull away somewhat. Yeah, he's not going to win that race. Nope. Not under my watch. Hell no. Not winning. Mm-mm. Okay, well, these guys are just scrapping. All right. Well, we have a full can of nitrous just in case we need it. Once again, we'll probably take the lead at the very end. Well, not take the lead. Use the nitrous at the very end. I like how the AI is just following me now. Now they're just riding the walls and stuff. Mm-mm. You're not doing that. Nope. Alright, we win. Cool. So we were still able to take advantage of the wall riding. Alright, let me make a thumbnail real quick. Okay, now we move on to the next race. And of course, we're leading the championship, so not as much pressure as before. Can someone please explain to me what just happened? How in the hell did all those cars just fly out of the map?
Okay, well, I'm running in a good second place position right now. The Nitrous is helping us catch up to the leader. Which, damn, he actually managed to pull out a huge lead. Until now. Wait, I just realized. After that cutscene played, aren't I racing against one of the wraiths? Or rates or whatever the hell they're called. Rats, rates, rates. That might be one of those guys. I imagine there's going to be a race number three, maybe. So, final round. I think we pretty much have the championship sealed, as long as we finish second. So I'm not too concerned right now. Wait, what is this track? I don't think we've raced here before. This one seems way more twisty and narrow than the other ones at the airport. Yeah, I dumped them, so what? This is like my chance to get revenge on the entire game for all the bullshit I've gone through. Imagine I doubt it. I think the track actually plays into my hands here Just the way I can wall ride on the backstretch Exhibit a As long as I save myself some nitrous, I think it will be good. You gotta save a little bit for the end. Holy shit! Okay, I think that sealed the deal. Also, I think I'm starting to remember this map a little bit more. It's starting to come back a little bit to me. Either from a previous playthrough of the game or earlier in the LP. One of the two. Alright, we win the championship. Cool. A clean sweep. New core in the inventory. That must be the Super Impreza. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next E. Next E. The next, uh. URL event. 
Okay, day number two of part number 46 is about to begin, and you guys might notice I only have $10. Well, that's because I put all that money into the Lancer off screen. You know what you have to do, girl. I don't want to see any piece of that car across the finish line. I won't have to do anything more than drive. He's nothing but a showboat and loser. Don't underestimate him. Do whatever, and I mean whatever it takes to tear him apart. Don't let me down. I'm counting on you, Nikki. Okay, so I think there was a problem with the game there. Here's the thing. That cutscene is supposed to play before the other cutscene played, where Rachel and Nikki were like, Nikki is on our side now. I think we're supposed to do this event first. So that way it makes sense within the story, but we got the other cutscene by doing the other event first. So therefore, all of that made no sense at all. It makes it seem like she's on our side, but then she betrayed us, when in reality, we're supposed to do the other event first. Are you guys still with me? <laughs> I hope so, because I just kind of confused everyone that's probably watching this right now. Yeah, it's kind of an oversight from EA there. But anyways, yeah, we're racing Nikki in this race, and that's why I was confused earlier. I was like, wait, did I accidentally skip a cutscene or something? But nope. Because I, I do remember getting that cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, you're confused? Yeah, I figured so. Hey, LT, what's up? While we're chasing that. Okay, so basically, in the previous stream, we got a cutscene from that same girl saying that she was on our side. Then we get this cutscene, where it turns out that she's trying to take us down. But what we were supposed to do was another URL race. Oh, thank you, LT. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, um, we were supposed to do the other race, or this race first, instead of the other one that we got that cutscene for. So that way it makes sense for the story, but unfortunately we didn't do the other one, which I don't really care to be honest. Alright, almost done. we win yeah Nikki can't even get us <laughs> all right we're leading the championship Nikki second by two points and we move on to the next round sorry about that I was on the phone just moving on what's up Shashank what's up Roman well okay To be honest, LT, I actually do like the Vauxhall Monaro a little bit more than the GTO. I don't know, I, I kind of like the front end, the front end, the, the front of the car a little bit more than the Pontiac version. I mean, hell, in the UK, you guys have the freaking Vauxhall VX220. We have to settle for the Saturn Sky here, which honestly is pretty ugly. <laughs> I was always like, why is the Speedster slash VX220 not a thing in the US? And then I look it up and I'm like, oh, Saturn Sky is that is it supposed to be the American version? I'm like, this sucks. The car is ugly.
Okay, the question is, where's Nikki? I think she's running second. No, she took. Damn it, she took the lead. Come on, you gotta make some moves fast. Okay, I have no idea if this is a two race series or a three race series, but if it's a two race series, I gotta make a move ASAP on this Mustang. Just so that way we can tie for points. No way! No way! We still won! Holy crap! <laughs> oh shit! We still won! Awesome! Alright. Well, it's a three race series. We're gonna move on to round number three with a four point lead over Nikki. And I'm getting another phone call. Jeez. Okay, final race. And, uh, yeah. We pretty much have an easy lead over Nikki. So all that shit talking she was doing earlier. Doesn't even matter. Hey, what's up, Tosh? Yeah, Nikki's in the back of the field. I'm not too worried about anything, really. Oh, it's not Nikki. Oh, she drove a Mustang. That's why I thought that Mustang was Nikki for some reason. I just have to finish like third or something. No matter where she finishes, and I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and draft this Subaru. Yep, it's a Subaru. I don't think an infinity from far away. your days oh yeah especially when it's patriotic like this GTO all right final lap <laughs> yeah uh, yes it is Gus it's just a small family emergency nothing uh, nothing too big Trap, what's up, man? So I finished second, but I still won the title. It doesn't matter. See? Two point lead over Nikki. Oh, there's another cutscene. I actually forgot about this. I told you, do whatever it takes. What part of that didn't sink in? Get out of my face. I race straight up. You better remember who you're talking to. Or what? I don't need you. Oh, really? What are you gonna do without me? You're nothing. It's only a matter of time before I run the whole show. Maybe I'll make sure you don't. Okay. Oh, no new cars. I think we've unlocked all the cars, so the final car is a Subaru Impreza. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next URL race. Okay, we're back after that small hiatus. Let's go ahead and do the next race. Hey, welcome back, Roman. Thanks for rejoining the second stream. Appreciate it. And here we go. Oh, it's this track backwards. Okay. All right, we're gonna have fun.
Am I at home? Because you can hear an echo? Uh, yes. I am home. Wait, you can hear an echo? Oh, that's fine, dude. I'm just glad that you stopped by anyway to say hi. Appreciate it. Oh, really? It has the same Fort Focus sound? Well, the start of this race was... Meh. Yeah, that chicane going backwards is ridiculous. Whatever advantages we had gained from the forward layout, we cannot gain in the reverse layout. Oh, I thought that was a car for a minute that went over us. We're at an airport. <laughs> so that's what happened. I'll just dump him. Let's just move on. Okay, instead of trying to take him out, I should have went for riding the actual wall. We're still running in a solid third place position. That's what's important. Whoa, holy shit. The extreme rubber banding strats from the first lead, the first two cars. Okay, well we can take second. You know, I've actually never played any of the Test Drive Unlimited games. I, I wanna get into them. It's been a long time since I actually played any Test Drive game, to be honest. So what, Test Drive Unlimited 1 is your second favorite PS2 game then? Alright, I really gotta focus on getting at least second place. That's the goal here. Ooh, Sentra's slowing down behind the G35. Okay, can we get third? At least? Okay, if someone can hit the chicane walls, that'd be great. Nope, of course not. Damn it. Okay, we finished fourth. So, not a good start to the tournament itself, but... Hey, we could rebound still. I can imagine this being a three-race series, because that's what we've been getting a lot of in Stage 5. And it's this track, so... GG. What a great start. Um, oh really? It's on PSP? I didn't know that. Who knows? I might do a Let's Play for Test Drive Unlimited one day. I probably will. That's actually a game that my buddy the UFC veteran talks about all the time. But anyways, um, yeah, this final corner, everybody's going to hit the brakes hard while we're going to be going flat out, riding the wall. So we'll be able to win the race. 
Interesting, we got an avoid accident from behind. I guess all I can do right now is just drop the Sentra. Or try to, at least. See, I want to dump some of these guys because these are the guys that finished ahead of me. But whatever we can do to swing the points gap. Oh, they have Saturn Skies in that game? <laughs> oh, yes, you were telling me previously that the X220 is actually split in half? Which is nuts. I don't expect those cars to actually split in half. I thought those cars were like really cool. I still like those cars, to be honest. But uh, yeah, brief me on that, because that's actually really interesting. So I expect a huge point swing right now. Considering the fact that these guys, holy crap, there's a lot of action going on behind me. Okay, what are the points like heading into the third round? Oh, nice! We take the points lead with a one point advantage over the 206 awesome okay so this is still kind of like a tiebreaker scenario in my opinion because it's still a must win case whoa kind of a weird graphical glitch but okay oh it's this track all right a lot of high-speed driving holy shit that was Easily the craziest start I think I've ever seen for one of these particular races. <laughs> oh my god. Well, alright. We got two laps to go. Really, one thing that I'm sort of concerned about is just the last set of corners because after the straightaway here, it's a really tight set of 90 degree left handers and right handers, and then the little hairpin, which cars can easily rubber band around and take the lead from us. And then you have a small chicane on this section here, and then, yeah, we could lose a lot of time. Oh, really? Okay. I, I think there's Test Drive Unlimited for the 360, isn't there? Because I actually remember my friend playing it one time, and he actually had it, and I went to his house. I went to his house, and he was playing Test Drive Unlimited. We were going to an amusement park. And so I walked into his room and he was playing some uh, Test Drive Unlimited, but I never got the chance to play, and I think it was on the 360. That's the points leader, or the guy in... Not the points leader, but the guy in second. Nope. Hell no. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite, and we win by over three points over the 206. Awesome. We're getting close to the end, y'all. So we've done four URL races so far. In this video, we're going to do one more for this video, and then afterwards, y you'll see what order I'm going to do the things in. Oh, it's this track. Okay, that's what we're starting off with. No new cutscenes yet. All right. And green, green, green. Four laps, okay. So I'm expecting a two race series, maybe? 
Because if I remember correctly, the final URL race is like four races long. Either that or it's a really long like endurance style race. Shit, the freaking Audi TT coming in hot. <laughs> All right. Damn. Some of the most dirty, aggressive racing I think I've seen in a good while. I don't know what I was doing there. What's up, Lucas? Uh, oh, okay, you just get the Skyline? I mean, the way I look at it is like this. It's like, you know, I'm filming a Let's Play series for my YouTube channel, and it's just like, you might as well just try out different things. Just have fun with it. That's just really my approach to everything, honestly. Okay, we need to rebound. Let's get some of our nitrous back. That Mantis kit? Yeah, the Mantis kit looks good on the R34. I don't think you've seen my skyline, dude. I have a skyline, and you're gonna hate me for it. Okay. Yeah, I saw that, but it's kind of weird if you say what's up to yourself, dude. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm like, okay, he, he said it for me. Yo, Abstract, what's up, dude? Okay, we win the first race. I'm pretty good, how are you? Okay, I think this might be a two race series considering the fact that that was a, uh, whatchamacallit, four lap race. Well, I was correct about this being a two-round series, and I had completely lost this round. Barely lost it by a point. Or two, something like that. I just didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, so we're trying this again. Pretty much it. This is like the first time we've actually had a two-race series in a good while. I'm responsible for someone not studying. Yes. Oh, really, dude? Damn. Like I said before, man, like, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to, to talk to me about it. You, you can talk about it in private, too, dude. I'm, I'm here. Traffic jam.
Right, Sky. I was just gonna say that too. Like, gotta make the you know the stream is more of a positive environment for sure. But you know, like I said, off off the stream, you're more than more more than welcome to talk to me about anything you want, man. And that goes for all of you too. It's not just exclusive to him. If any of you guys want to talk about anything, you know, any any struggles you got going on, or you want to just vent or whatever, you got a homie right here who's more than happy to listen. Lucas well, I'm glad you have better internet so you can watch the stream at its full um, resolution awesome that's awesome dude well right now I gotta make sure I go and beat this freaking golf and possibly 350 let's see I'm gonna save my nitrous for the final corner or for the exit yep just like that all I need is a second place Hey, well, thank you, dude. I, I seriously appreciate that, man. I mean, I, I try my best to be a good person, dude. I We have a doctor called the Moving Chicane. I'm not certified. I'm like an alley doctor. So if you guys are missing like a couple lungs or maybe, maybe a brain or two, don't even worry about it. All right, guys. So that'll do it for this video. Next time on Need for Speed Underground 2, we're going to finish up all the special events and the regular world events for Stage 5.